CMEP series on the Seaburn uh, operations and Seaburn room with part eight. Today, we're going to teach you guys how to add your TNG stuff to the DTMS uh, unit training calendar. All right. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, thank you all for your support. All right. Let's get started here. All right. So, if you haven't had a chance, if you go back a few videos, I actually showed you how to add your services to the DTMS training calendar. Same concept, same process, just a little, little bit different. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So how to prepare, right? So you can use your TMD master list, your projected list, your equipment TMs, your maintenance SOP, your TMD lab. And of course, your uh, unit DTMS uh, SOP, like I stated in the previous video, um, we have a unit level DTMS SOP. Everything red identifies some type of maintenance action or calibration, right? So like in the previous video, if you were wanted to go get your master list or projected list, you go through ACIP, go to maintenance or L LNAX Saber maintenance, put down uh, maintenance readiness metrics, go down to TMD, and you can actually pull all of your stuff, right? So, just like the services, the TMD events, <clears throat> this is the screen that'll come up, all right? We already talked about this. So, here is a copy of our master projected list here. And then, this is what we're going to use to create a, a TMD event. So when I name my events for TMD, I normally do the model number, calibration due, <clears throat> and the serial number, right? So always going to be the Seaburn rep and the TMD coordinator is the audience. Of course, the event color is going to be red because, like I said, that's the color that we have identified for all maintenance actions in my unit. You'll have the date and the time. You'll go to major event, admin, fill out the point of contact, uh, number, trainer, alternate trainer, the uniform, uh, any type of references. <clears throat> and then for the notes, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. And for the notes, the team D calibration do, right? So I normally do Adam or uh, uh, admin, model, serial number, nomenclature, the date due and the data drop off, right? So make sure you're uh, looking at that, the data drop off. So once that's done, just like the last uh, for doing the services, you'll hit save. You'll put in your location and then you'll go and you do your draw and then when i set up my draws for team de i set the risk assessment up as low but for the notes of what calibration is needed for anvdr serial number 7416 alpha then i go to hazards loss of equipment and accountability during the turn-in process of the equipment controls team arm rep will sign over team d to the team d coordinator once the team d coordinator reaches the team d lab they will receive paperwork and drop off for accountability. How to implement use of a 2062 or other documentation will be used throughout this process and who, who to supervise, Seaburn rep and TMD coordinator. All right, so one thing to keep in mind when you're talking about like supply stuff, I mean SI or psycho inventory, right? So if that equipment is not in your arms room, Seaburn or whatever, right? But it's on Fort Carson or wherever your location is, you should go and just verify that it's there, right? Just keep that in mind. So once that's done, you can actually go and you can print your uh, your training schedule. And if you look here, on March 7th, 2022, between 13 and 14, is the drop-off time, Seaburn rep and TMD coordinator. And this is all the information we just built on the calibration that's going to be due for that UDR 13. So like I said, this isn't a hard process, same process as building a service. But I thought I'd break it up and just actually have one video just for TMD. Um, keep in mind, make sure this does go in your DTMS. These are easy wins for any type of inspection. All right. So hope you like this video. Hope you're liking the series. Um, as always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and go or.